Hey guys, what is up? Dunk is here, and uh, today I have some domination for you on Hanoi. This is a very old <laughs> gold glove. I love you. I'm trolling your intro. I said a while back that I was gonna do. A, I was gonna mock other commentators whenever I did my intro. So gold glove, you're the victim today. What is up? Gold glove here is uh, so classy, so funny, and it gets me every time. I don't know why. I just enjoy it. But before we go any further, this is a very old gameplay. That me and the mark of J, the man with five thousand hands, five hands, the uh, the last door, aka the last door on the left. <laughs> I don't know what he has for himself. A bunch of nicknames, aka endless cujos, aka aka whatever you want to fill in the blank. I was gonna save this gameplay. We were gonna do a dual commentary a while back. As you can see, I'm on like six prestige or whatever. He was not. He he had like twenty thousand subscribers at the at this time when we play this game and we we're gonna do a dual commentary as you know he is blown up so I don't know if we're still gonna do that but um, I would definitely be down to clown if he was as well um, I don't know I, I had this on my hard drive I figured I'd show you guys cuz this is an example of two men just clocking in going to work at seven o'clock in the morning punching in and punching out at the end of the day just a nice hard day's work two men doing their jobs carrying them carrying the team for uh, everybody else pretty much You'll see at the end with the scoreboard, you'll see how many captures, defends, and kills, and deaths we have. We pretty much run trains. But uh, the reason I wanted to post this commentary, I don't know, there's always got to be a reason, right? No, there doesn't have to be a reason, you just have to be in the mood. Um, that's that's my biggest thing, I have to be in the mood. And today I came from home from work, I was listening to some music, actually I was listening to it at work, it was horrible shooting, and what am I doing using Warlord and a silenced AK-40, so what, like... What was I thinking back then? I don't know. But anyways, I was at work listening to some Silver Sun pickups. I continued that phase uh, on the way home. And when I got home, I, I turned on more Silver Sun pickups because I'm, I'm obsessed with that band. I don't know why. I don't know about you guys, how you feel about the Silver Sun pickups. But they're one of my favorite bands. And a lot of my favorite songs of all time come from them. One of those being Kissing Families. And I don't know if you've ever heard this song, if you're familiar with it. But I decided to just kind of pick up the guitar and kind of learn it, I guess, after work today, and I figured I would show you guys, um, this nice little road rage, I figured I would show you guys my progress on the song, I just picked it up today, I got off at 5.30, uh, got home, ate dinner, and then picked up the guitar, and now it's about 8 o'clock when I'm recording this, so it took me a while to get the, the rhythm and everything down, as you guys know, I'm a perfectionist, so, I don't know, I don't have my MacBook with me right now. Um, so I don't have access to GarageBand to add all the funky effects. It seems like every time I make a guitar, guitar mentary, it's on Hanoi, right? <laughs> the last one was, get shanked. And you guys really enjoyed that, so I figured I'd bring some more guitar content. This time it's a cover, it's not original. If you want to know the song, look up Kissing Families by uh, Silver Sun Pickups on YouTube. Here we go. I'm going to let you guys go listen to this. Hopefully it goes with the gameplay. I'm not going to do it during my chopper gunner this time, because it's pretty far into the game and I'm... I'm afraid people will turn the video off, just like you're going to do now, because I'm rambling. Okay, here we go. Bye. I could sing like that guy. I know you. I didn't sing in the song, but if you listen to the the original song, 
and listen to his voice, you just you get hypnotized by it. I don't know why it's that's why they're one of my favorite bands because of the because of the lead singer and just the lyrics and the, the content of their songs is just all good. Um, Kissing Families is the title of that. If you didn't hear before, it's it's really it's a nice song. It's about uh, somebody who's going through some things in their life and little things add up to bigger things and then that person realizes that everybody goes through things in their life and um, pretty soon it'll all pass and it makes you what you are so all the trials and tribulations in your life that you go through can be also felt by other people because they're going through things as well you're not the only one going through through pain and suffering and whatever problems you have in your life I don't I'm not saying um, you guys have problems but everybody has little things that may add up to bigger things and it pretty much molds you into who you are because you eventually get over that that stuff and it, it turns you into who you are as a person and I think the lyrics mean a lot to to me in that that regard because I've had some issues in my personal life I'm not gonna go into it right now uh, that's not needed I probably will never go into it on my YouTube channel because it's just not needed at all to get into that but um, Python ACOG really <laughs> but I really relate to that song and it's nice to hear I use music a lot to actually John S and D's was actually on Twitter today talking about how people deal with anxiety. Um, obviously, he doesn't care if I say this because he posted on Twitter. If, if he told me in confidence, I wouldn't be saying this to you guys. But since he posted on Twitter, I will let you guys know. I responded to him saying that the way I deal with anxiety and worry and all the problems in my life is by listening to music, whether it's because I come from a musical background. If you guys didn't know, I was in band in high school, in junior high and elementary school. I have a musical background. It's probably why it's so easy for me to pick up the guitar. I know I'm not spectacular at it, but I did pick that song up pretty fast. And, I mean, I can fiddle around with it and make something sound good. But <laughs> um, I have a musical background, so I really appreciate music and the finer aspects of music. Like little nuances in the background that you may not hear. Like a normal person may not hear that stuff. But somebody with the that has taken like music theory and, and different classes and played instruments will actually hear that stuff, and I re I appreciate the subtleties of music and also lyrics because two piece Nate by the way um, lyrics are very even though sometimes in in some of these songs these more popular songs um, these days you can't really understand what people are saying when they're singing and I know it's it's been that way for for ages. I mean, people sing and you can't understand. That's the whole. That's the whole mysterious, mystique aspect of music and and songs. That the artist kind of puts his own little twist on his vocals, and sometimes you can't understand what he's saying. But that's beside the point. You can look up the lyrics always, and lyrics are a big part. And you can really relate to lyrics um, if you if you really read through them and form your own meaning of the song and have that song be yours. Basically, it can basically speak to you. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but Music is a very important part of my life, and I use it a lot to get through certain aspects. So I, I challenge you guys to, next time you're feeling, wow, look what I just turned the corner. Three guys just barreling down. Um, next time you guys are feeling down in the dumps, or you're in a, a sort of mood that you can't really understand why you're in that mood, start listening to some music. Go through your iTunes library. Go through YouTube if you don't have a lot of songs on your computer. Get out of my way, ghost. Um... Go through YouTube, just type in what kind of mood you're in and get some music and maybe it'll help you. I don't know, it helps me and I thought I would pass that little little tidbit of myself along to you guys so you could know a little bit more about me and uh, how I deal with stuff. But I hope you enjoyed that Silver Sun pickup little guitar riff. That's the intro of the first like minute and a half of the song. Obviously with no singing, but... Check out the score at the end of this game. Me and uh, Markham J just went ham bone city, ham salad sandwiches. Fill in the blank. 55 and 12, 6 caps, 10 defends. He was 58, 14, 4 caps, and 8 defends. Ridiculous. Have a good day, guys. Peace.